1989, the web was invented at CERN so that 10,000 scientists around the world could discuss and design the world's largest machine, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC. The data produced by the LHC experiments requires more than half a million processor cores to analyze it all. But where does all this data come from? 100 meters under the Geneva countryside lies the LHC. Inside this machine, particles are circulating at almost the speed of light, ready to collide at four points around the ring. You are now looking at one of these four collision points. This is Atlas, one of the four big experiments of the LHC. Inside, a billion collisions occur every second. If we were to record all these collisions, it would amount to one petabyte per second. Instead, we only record the most interesting collisions and send the data to CERN's data center. In CERN's data center, servers like these analyze LHC data. They generate such heat that cold air needs to be circulated around the enclosed racks. These computers are quite similar to the ones you have at home, but it's their number that makes them so powerful. There are more than 200,000 processor cores at CERN. But even these are not capable of processing the dozens of petabytes produced each year by the LHC. That is why CERN connects more than 170 data centers around the globe to help process and back up all that data and maybe unlock a new secret of the universe.